welcome Aries to your July 23rd through the 31st reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Best message coming out. Akashic Records, clearing old stories, releasing past lives, and freedom. Okay. Now, I wanted to do the same thing twice, so go ahead and release whatever, right, was going on in the past so that you can make new ways for the future. Yesterday's news is not the same as today, right? We learn from those mistakes. You now we can just kind of throw them away, you know. You just kind of keep them there so you don't go back, right? You don't want to use those stepping stones to go backwards, right? But actually holding on to all of that has, you know, once you learn it and you know what's going on, you don't need it. You know, because a lot of times it holds you back from exactly what you need today, right? So, Order of the Melchizedek, I don't think I ever say that right, but whatever. Embraced by light, mission uncovered, don't give up. Don't give up on what it is that you're going for today, you know, because it feels like, well, I tried that in the past and it didn't work, so why am I going to do it again? Because you can always rework things. You can always redo things. And if it's love, don't let yesterday's pains you know, of love affect somebody from today, right? Sacred inner space, sacral chakra, tenderness, sensuality. You know, becoming the lotus flower, go ahead and open yourself up to the tenderness. Akashic stargate, aligned with the purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. Whoa, you're on a path that's on no wrong path. So if you feel like the path that you're on, you know, is the wrong path, that spirit is letting you know there is no wrong path. You're on the right path. Having the inner discovery of finding sacredness, you are what you seek. Wow. Okay. Having the mental clarity, your clarity, you know, having the clarity and the clear mind to understand what's going on within the situation. And karmic board clearing, clearing. energetic clearing rewrites your story. Whoa. Live your truth. You're holding on to karmic things that happened in the past that is no longer needed. You need to rewrite your story. They're saying release the past stories so that you can bring in new stories. Rewrite it. Make it different. Okay, so it's kind of like um, I was an alcoholic, but this doesn't mean you have to be an alcoholic forever, right? And I didn't get anywhere. I didn't do anything, and I was this and I was that. No, you know what? I decided one day I was going to wake up and say, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm going to rewrite my own story. I'm going to be this, this other person. Um, and we've known tons of those people out of the hippie days, whatever. And now he like owns his own successful business. He dresses as a businessman and he's not like, you know, this tree hugger, um, hippie guy anymore, um, from 1970s or sixties, you know, there's like, his parents were like, you'll go nowhere. Right. So they rewrite their own story and that's all you need to do guys. Right? I know I'm using these really weird examples because it's the only thing I think of this time because in seriousness, though, I'm trying to use the ones that are, like, really impactful because I want you to understand that it doesn't matter, right? We just have to get through this and say, who am I and what is my path, right? Who am I going to be? What am I going to do, right? And this is going to get you ambitiously driven to succeed. As soon as you start really thinking about, you know what, I think I will start, you know, doing this and that. Because, you know what, I do want to better myself in this area. I do want love in this area, however it is. And then you'll realize that by defending the beliefs of you rewriting your story and saying, you know what, you're right. I don't want to go out as this, as this piece of my life. I want to go out as a kaboom, right? And really going that way. Because right now it just feels like you have despair and lack of faith. There's a lot of self-trust that's going on within the situation. And you disconnect yourself, right, from what it is of your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra, guys, is a sensitivity we have within ourselves. But it's also that desire. The desire to really want to get out there. The desire that says, let's go. And that's what's really going to really get driven over here. So any discouragement that you have within this situation, just kind of look at yourself and say, you know what? No, I'm the star of the show. You know what? If, and if they can do it, I can do it. And a lot of times that is the thing too. We see people do things that maybe they, they should never have done, 
but you know you can do it too. You know? There's no wrong path. The only crossroad that you have is what you're aligned with your own self. Otherwise, there's lots of purpose out there. We all have talents in many, many areas. Just because you say, oh, she was, you know, she was born to be a teacher. Yeah, well, she was born to be a teacher. She was born to be the president. She was born to be the history, um, you know, person. She was born to be an architect. She probably could draw. So maybe she was even, you know, born to paint. So we have many, many, many different talents. We're not just made for one thing different purposes but this is where you really have to build your self-confidence don't be selfish towards yourself because you can rewrite your own story and live within your own truth and you know be careful too because there could be a lot of jealousy around you as well which is really weird i don't know where the hell that's coming from but i do see that somebody's already jealous of what you're kind of doing it anyways that's for somebody i don't know I know. It, I just got the confusion. Don't, don't let that confuse you because it kind of confused me. Yes, thank you, sir. For, yeah, and that was kind of confusing. <clears throat> Maybe that was because you guys are already, some of you have already started rewriting your story, and so you already got somebody jealous. Why are you coming up so much? Maybe that can also be a possibility because time is fluid. Right? Yeah, I see this moody person around you guys. I don't know what's going on with that. And je that's jealousy again. So I think for some of you who are already started, you're rewriting your story. You're already coming up. Huh. Okay. Well, it's a huge possibility. It's a general reading. It's not a personal reading. So anyways, we have Holy Grail. What you are doing, you seek, is yeah... Looking at the long-term views over here in the hard work. And I think the, most of you are already doing that anyways. Uh, whether you already restarted, you know, already started rewriting your story or not. I think a lot of you have already been investing tons of time um, into sustainable results. I think the problem with some of you, though, is, is that because of, you're not releasing the past, you're, you're not really seeing the sustainable results yet. Um, because there's kind of still, like I said, the lack of faith and despair going on to this actually working. Um, which is kind of lowering the, it's, it's bringing the energy down a little bit um, from your financial independence. There's that jealousy again. Who the hell is jealous? Somebody is definitely jealous of you for some reason. I'm just going to leave it there. You'll know who exactly you, you know. And this could literally be, okay, well, it doesn't matter. I got all these different signs. Somebody is definitely jealous of you, though. I, I got to tell you that right now. So, like I said, if you've already been started on your rewriting your story in your life, I've already been doing that. You've got this very jealous person around here, around you. Could be a parent or, um... an ex, you know, somebody. I'll try to clarify on that as much as possible, see who it might be, but I don't know. Some of you might work at home and they're very jealous because you work at home and they have to get up every day, go to slave the grind. I don't know. I don't know about that. That's three cards of jealousy. You can't get away from that. I mean, I, I'm seeing it. I'm literally seeing it. You're, like I said, you're already rewriting it for a lot of you. Yeah, for some of you, I think you're already overcoming this challenge. And you're, you're becoming your own natural leader and your own ent ent entrepreneur, if I can get the word out. Um, yeah, and very career focused. And yeah, there it is again. Somebody resentful for the situation. Hmm. So if you guys know that that's you, you know who you are. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you're already do you're like already on your way there. For others of you, this is just where spirit says this is where you really need to be, right? Don't live in the past, continue to move on into the future. Don't stay in the past too long. Just stay there enough to reminisce 
for the happy childhood, the happy memories, the happy this, the happy that, you know, but don't, don't linger too much in the past, especially when it comes to past, uh, things that were holding you back. And for some others of you, it was exactly what I was saying before. It was the alcohol, the alcohol. Oh my gosh. Now I can't speak. Who is, I don't know. And somebody doesn't want to speak to you about the situation either. My throat shock just all of a sudden, because it's funny over here, because ever since I get this card out, it's almost like they want to come and have the desire to reconcile with you, but they don't want to speak about it. So they're keeping their mouth shut because they're just really jealous about the situation. So instead of making any kind of amends with you, they just rather shut up and just sit over there and be jealous. Anyways. Close throat chakra. Anyways, for others of you, it was exactly what I was talking about before. Releasing the past. You know, you got through your alcoholism, you you know, your addictions or what, however it is. And just make sure that you are getting the self-healing. Remember that you can rewrite your whole story. You don't have to hold on to any of those overindulgences or excessive behaviors from the past. You are not your past. Your past does not defy who you are. It was just a stepping stone and a learning process that everybody in the world goes through something shitty. But it doesn't defy who you are in the future or the present. So do not allow that to hold you back from feeling like, you know, you can be somebody amazing. Because no matter what, you are the king of wands. You are the leader. You have what it takes to get to where you need to be. We all have our own story, but we don't have to live by that story. We don't have to be that person. We can move on from that unless you, you know, unless you want to be that person today. You see what I'm saying? But you guys know what I'm talking about. You don't have to be in the past and say, well, because in the past I did this and I did that. So, I don't know. They only see me this way. Don't see yourself like that. You're young. We all do things. Don't let those things hold you back from being who you want to be or who you are. That's what makes us human. Right? That's yes. Thank you. The growth and the abundance and the development of just being here on earth. That's who we are. You know, hmm. and you are, you know, you're this beautiful person who, you know, is going to take the ropes. You're going to be who you want to be and you have all the tools and all the gifts to do so. We all do. If we let the past defy every one of us, pretty much from our skeletons in our closets and all the bullshit that we've gone through, I will tell you right now that we're a planet of fools and, and, uh, you know, probably fools, assholes, and, you know, bums. <laughs> right? I mean, come on. Come on now. Right? I mean, seriously? Well, we all had our college days, so what, we're, well, because of my college days defy who I am, so I guess I'm never going to really be the doctor, because I was just a, I was just a weekend drunk all the time. Okay, okay, doc, that's, that's interesting. <clears throat> so you really can't be the real doctor that you are, because in college you were a, a drunken weekend hellion. Okay. <laughs> No, my friends, you are the wise leader. You are a beacon for others. You know, and our stories from our past, a lot of times from what we are from our past, the past doesn't defy who we are. The future tells us that we are a beacon for others because we become wise from this situation. It just shows the growth, right? It's the mystic healer, healing energy uh, flows through you. You know, I've always noticed that the best people who become, um, like AA people, you know, you know, like counselors, like alcoholic counselors and stuff like that. The best people who can do that are people who've actually been alcoholics. So you can use those things to become the wise leader to prove to other people and help other people so that they understand things. I've known a couple of myself, um, who are actually alcoholics, bad, bad alcoholics who become AA, um, counselors 
they're the best people because they understand where you're coming from. So you always, you know, use your tools. Use your tools. Don't hold on to them like that. You can use them for your future. You know, because you can say, well, I've been in that situation, so I know where you're coming from. Now you become a mystic healer. Now you become a wise leader. Instead of allowing it to defy who you are, you use it to push out. Right? You use it to push out. Oh, how beautiful. Abundance is pouring into your life. Absolutely. We see that with the imprints of it as well. Right? That's a beautiful reading. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, that's just really... So for those of you who have already started this process, kudos to you. You know, you're just a wise leader. Those of you who are getting started on this, kudos to you too. Let's go, right? Let's go. Let's go. We can all do this. And what a beautiful message from Spirit to say, you know what, there is no such thing as being yesterday because tomorrow is always different, right? You were only a child for so long until you became a teenager, and you're only a teenager so long before you become a young adult, right? And we just keep growing um, so we don't have to sit over here and, you know, just be teenagers. Avoid hateful thoughts as they are just as hurtful as physically striking someone. Learn to keep your heart open and soft through the trials of life. Yes, absolutely. I think this one right here has got to be probably the number one. This one's really good, though, too, because we have to be careful of that um, because energy is energy. Take time to acknowledge the subtle changes in your spiritual evolution. And we're just always evolving, always evolving, always evolving. Okay, my friends, beautiful reading. Okay, until next time, peace and love, bye-bye.